fellas, I made a video for you guys about how uh, the ladies should have a conversation with you before spreading their legs about whether or not you all want to be fathers. Because I'm seeing a lot of women put men on child support. And when these men don't want to be fathers, uh, these women are feeling some kind of way and taking it to the courts. And I think that's horrible because these men don't have to carry these babies. So it's up to you as a woman to sit down and have a conversation with the man and figure out, is this man planning on sticking around? Or is he just having fun with you in the meantime? This is something that you need to think about. And in order for you to do that, you have to have a conversation. Okay? The conversation. So, I'm saying this in another video. The video was me telling black women to take care of your husband. Because if you don't, a woman like me who isn't interested in marriage or relationship, she's just cool with companionship, will nicely take your husband off your hands. And so, women were feeling that. They're like, you know, like, whatever. This goes hand in hand with the whole child support thing. So they're saying all this other stuff. So they asked me, did you have the conversation with your daughter's father about whether he wanted to be a family man, about kids, X, Y, Z? My answer to that question is yes. Okay? Me and my daughter's father talked before we even stopped using protection and said, listen, we want to take off the protection. Let's talk. Let's discuss this. We decided, we agreed that if we broke up, the most important thing to us would still be our kid. Whatever happened between us has nothing to do with our kids. So as parents, we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that our kids are taken care of and we are never going to bring the courts in our business. That's what me and my daughter's father agreed on. And I have not had a problem with him ever since. My daughter is 15. She will be 16 November 11th. My daughter, all good. Because I knew her father wanted to be a father. We had the conversation. Now, if he told me he didn't want to be a father, then we would have used protection. I dated a guy for four years. Four years. His name is B. He's inside of my Unicorn Atlanta book that I'm putting out. I talk about him in our relationship. We dated for four years. He told me from jump he didn't want to be a father. Period. Guess what he did the whole time we was together? Wear rubber? Whole time. Four years we had sex using protection. Because he didn't want to be a father. And he knew he didn't want to be a father. And that may have changed with time. He might have found another chick and had a baby by now because we were broken up for a year. Maybe two. But we use protection every time. And it could be that he just didn't want to have a baby by me. You know what I mean? So he used protection. If he said this to me and didn't use protection, I would have still made him put it on. Because I know for a fact he didn't want to be a father. And he didn't want to have a kid or didn't want to have a kid by me. Because he verbally said this to me beforehand. And his behavior. How his behavior is. His behavior is of a man who isn't ready to be serious with anyone. He's not thinking about a family. I don't even care how old he is. The dude could be 28 or 45. You can tell by his behavior whether he is ultimately ready to settle down with someone. You will you'll be able to tell. Pay attention. Stop looking at how much money these men have. Stop looking at how good they look. Sometimes don't even listen to the words that's coming out of their mouth. You just got to pay attention to what they are doing. How they are treating you. Is he a problem? Is he a problem? Because if he's a problem, you might not want to start having kids by him. At all. Think about this. A lot of these ladies that's in these situations where they have these children and these fathers are gone. If he's not in jail... Or dead and he out here living a life and he ain't trying to be no father you knew that before see we women we not stupid we have women's intuition and I'm tired of women downplaying their intuition like they ain't know you know we know we're women so you know when a man is good for you or 
or when he isn't. You're just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt sometimes. Maybe you don't want to be lonely. Maybe you're the only one out of all of your friends that ain't got a man. I don't know. Don't even get me guessing. Okay? But hear me when I'm, I'm telling you. Have the conversation with these men from the beginning. Talk to them. Get to know them. Stop moving so fast. Or you're going to be walking around with kids that you're taking care of by yourself because your baby daddy ain't shit. That's my advice. That's uh, it, To me, it's always going to be a black woman's fault if she's walking around with kids and no father. Because you didn't take the time as a woman to check this nigga first. Check him. That's your body. You have to give birth to that baby. You have to go through the changes. You have to go through the morning sickness. You have to go through your twat stretching. You have to go through contractions. You have to go through nursing. Stitches. Changes in hormones. Changes in food you eat. That's your body. So as a woman, you have to take the responsibility for what's happening inside of your body. Don't let just some random man come on up and do that. If he ain't good for you, you're going to know off break. Slow down. Have the conversation. I had the conversation. I'm doing just fine with the one kid and one baby daddy I got. And then when I met other guys and they was like, I don't want to be a father. I was like, cool. Mental note taken. Keep it in mind, ladies. That's all I'm saying. Keep it in mind. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. for. Listen, don't put in the comment section all of these weird, <laughs> like, I'm seeing the ladies leaving these comments because they mad that I'm saying this. I'm serious. It is your fault. So it's up to you as a woman to do what you got to do, okay? Check them. You better check them.